everybody. Happy Sunday. Hi guys. <laughs> hey, we're going to make some super seed energy bars. And these are energy bars that we really enjoy, our family really likes. And I'm making it um, doubled, double the recipe that is on the Beach Body recipe. Um, so those are the equations I'm going to give you, but you can always look up the recipe. And I've made actually some changes because instead of sesame seeds, I'm using sunflower seeds. Instead of oh, uh, almond butter, or I think it said sunflower seed butter, I'm using peanut butter, the Adams kind. Or you can get them creamy, crushed yourself from some place that does it. I think Winco does it, if you have a Winco by you. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna get started on this recipe right now. All right. All right. So I'm gonna have Jody over here browning the coconut. So I've got a cup and a half of coconut. Um, this, these make actually 12 bars, but I'm going to double it so I can have 24 bars. And then, let me think about this. With the coconut, it's a cup and a half for the 24 bars, okay? And the wonderful thing about it is one bar is only half, what is it, half a yellow. Um, if you're doing the portion containers, it's only half a yellow, uh, one orange and one teaspoon. So, you know, it doesn't take up much of your, of your portions at all. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and brown the coconut and the pumpkin seeds. This is a half a cup of pumpkin seeds. And then this is, instead of sesame seeds, I told you we're using sunflower, that's two thirds cup. All right, so we're gonna brown those. And while he's browning those, I'm actually gonna grind some of my flax seeds. So we have about, we do have a half a cup of flax seeds and I'm gonna grind them up a bit. Now, I actually haven't even looked for ground flax seeds. I'm probably sure that they probably have them. <laughs> but I don't actually mind grinding them. I'm using that mortar and pestle that I told you about that was my mom's, so it's kind of cool. I like, I like using it. Brings back old times, so it's good. So as he's browning it, he's gonna show you, because it browns really fast. We're gonna pop this up just a little bit. It browns super fast. And I'm gonna grind these, and let's see. We're gonna add this to the bowl because that's where the rest of the stuff is gonna go later. I'm gonna keep grinding the rest of it. And you're gonna love these bars. They're like super sweet. Well, okay, I don't think they're super sweet. No, but they got a nice sweet flavor. Yeah, they're actually flavor. my favorite dessert slash snack that Judy makes, or actually it's the first time I've held. All right. So I want to give you a taste of uh, what this looks like. Look at those nice natural colors. I love them. The browns and the sage green and the coconut color. So I'm just toasting those up like Judy told me to. We're almost ready for those. And while I'm grinding the flat seeds, I'll tell you what else we have. We have, I have a half a cup of raisins. A, I think this is, let's see, look at my recipe. Um, a full cup of chopped walnuts, and just like a half a teaspoon of some salt, a half a cup of honey, and the peanut butter instead of almond butter that I'm using, or sorry, sunflower seed butter is what they asked for. I um, got a half a cup of the peanut butter. This is good. The coconut's getting nice and toasty now. Too. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. I think that's ready. Okay, so he's gonna drop that into here, into this main bowl. And while he's got that going, I'm going to put the rest of the splat seeds on top of that once he's done. Good. Nice that and toasty. smells so good. I love the smell of the coconut and the seeds. Mm. <laughs> it smells really toasty good. Toasty coconut, yeah. All right, so we put the rest of the flax seed in there. I'm gonna stir this up. All right, so go ahead and stir that a bit. Now I'm gonna drop the... I love the smell <laughs> of these. I just absolutely love it the does. smell. It smells so good. Well, we love coconut. And then um, that was the... You could do raisins or cranberries, whichever kind of dried fruit you really like. Um, we always have raisins on hand. And then I'm going to add the salt. And... 
Oh, I was supposed to brown these nuts and I didn't, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. So I'm going to put those in there now. So everything's nice and warm. And that's the beauty of this is that since it's warm in there, now I'm going to have you scoop out the rest. The honey goes in. Mm. I'm going to just have you hold this so you can scoop out that and then we'll do this too. You're going to have to scoop this one out too. And I'll go get the pan ready. And that one's uh, peanut butter that I'll be adding after the uh, honey. honey. Yep. Mm. And no, I'm not licking my fingers even though I want to. Normally we do. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just yummy. All right, so I'm going to give you a flavor of what this looks like. So I'm mixing it all up, getting it all uh, mixed together. The honey and the butter and the seeds, coconut. Oh, I love the uh, toasted smell of the coconut and the peanut butter is awesome. Now I already sprayed this nine by 13 pan because I told you I doubled the recipe, but typically it would be like an eight by eight pan. It's just an aluminum pan. You can put parchment paper, it might be easier to we're fine with just, I just sprayed it a bit with olive oil. And you could actually coat it with um, some coconut oil. Um, that's good. You can All just right. drop her in. Pile it in. So I'm gonna have him drop it in. And then he's gonna prep, we're gonna use this to press it down. All right, so press it down like this. Mm. Pretty easy. Had to snitch. Cause it's good and I'm gonna bake it. So we bake it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to show you the after, after party. No, the results after it's done. Oh, it's you get, I could eat it without yeah, it being baked. Yeah, we do. We like, <laughs> because it's kind of crumbly sometimes, but it's good. I thought, I've actually added chocolate chips to this, some dark chips to it. The only unfortunate thing is, is because it's warm already, it already melts because it's, the coconut's being toasted then the chocolate chips melt. So, I guess you could still do that. Look, look, you can lick the spin. All right, don't have to <laughs> ask me twice. Mm. Good stuff. <laughs> Making a mess. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven and then we'll see you back in 15 minutes. All right, and let's do it. Cook some food. It's done, look at that yummy. Super yummy. All right, so I'm going to cut this. Oh, it smells so good. Let's see. And you are supposed to let it cool, but I can't wait. So, <laughs> oh yeah, there's a reason why they want you to let it cool. Yeah, it comes it out a little crumbly. Crumbly. But you get the idea. So I'm gonna take one out, and always the middle one is gonna be the hardest to take out. The first one's always the hardest to take out, but it's not bad. There. So Jody's gonna show you that. Super yummy. You know you want to come to our house. It's always good. All right, Super Seed Bars, try them. They're part of the Beach Body. Um, it's on. <laughs> when am I gonna learn? It's always hot. <laughs> so it's under snacks, but it's called the Super Seed Energy Bars, and they're just delicious. So remember, if you're doing the containers, it's only a half a yellow, one teaspoon, and one orange. Cool? All right, peace out, everybody. Have Super a great yummy. day.